strengthening democratic institutions. In order to realize our commitment, we are working in close cooperation with our partners to identify our priorities. Ladies and gentlemen, the topics we have been suggesting are not by chance. We have chosen them based on our experience. Democ democracy education is vital. We need to strengthen democratic culture and effective, active and tolerant participation of citizens citizen in democratic process as norms in the society. This can be achieved through adoption and application of systematic permanent school curriculum on democracy. Mongolia will aim to work on the working group on democracy education and to, to bring about practical outcome, of, uh, outcome from these activities. Modern information technology provides an enormous opportunity for worldwide solidarity among the uh, democratic forces. Today morning, uh, as foreign uh, minister from Tunisia recalled this morning, Mongolians were among, uh, among the, this Facebook supporters who encouraged him to stay determined during this struggle time. So well-functioning civil society is essential. A society without participatory approach and well-functioning civil society is weak. That's why we will continue working with and supporting civil society organizations and enabling legal environment for civil society organizations is an essential component of the sustained democracy. The government of Mongolia is now working, working on the concept to formulate state policy on the civil society organizations. There are more than 300 civil society organizations working with city throughout the world. A good network among them exists in Europe and North America. Therefore, it could be a step forward if we will establish secretariat for the civil society component of the city in Asia, Africa, or Latin America. Strengthening a city regional co cooperation. Democracy now is not an exclusively Western construct. It is an universal idea owned by the world at large. We have in the Asia-Pacific long-established successful democracies such as India, Japan, and Australia, as well as major successful emerging democracies uh, such as Indonesia, Philippines, and the Republic of Korea. Therefore, regional democratic processes can constitute solid foundations to extend city, city reach to individual countries and peoples. Interacting with other democracies and sharing experiences. Events in North Africa and the Middle East reflect a dramatic transformation process. Our shared commitment to assisting those countries seeking support during democratic transition and the consolidation of democracy by sharing experience and identifying best practices is timely today. Therefore, our cooperation and support to democratic transitions and consolidation of democracy is indispensable to our activities. I hope that Mongolia's priorities would enjoy a wide support of the community. Mongolia has been standing for the reform of community of democracies. In, a, in the anticipation that the new structure should be helpful for the chairmanship to lead the organization and to make our com community a dynamic, transparent, open, inclusive forum. Distinguished delegates, these aspirations will not fully re realized without support and assistance and collaboration of governments, regional organizations, corporations, and foundations. I thank you for pledging you your full support to our presidency of the Community of Democracies. We agree that the success of Community of Democracies will depend on whether it can make tangible contributions to strengthening democracy. So let's act together. Mongolia is for proactive role of 
the community of democracies at the United Nations. Promoting democracy is about development, peace and security, and human rights. In that sense, UN is natural partner to the CD. Our common commitments to purposes and principles of UN Charter and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and fundamental principles of international law shall remain at the center of our focus. We would like to have strengthened permanent secretariat. We will organize the first meeting under, under our presidency in New York this coming September and will post the agenda and dates to all of you in due time. In the meantime, I ask all stakeholders to formalize and put into action the new governing council and the executive committee. I look, I look forward to your valuable support and tangible contribution to Mongolia's presidency over the next two years so that we will convene our next conference in 2013 with pride of achievement. Thank you. Thank you, dear colleague, for outlining the priorities of the Mongolian presidency and for kind words addressed, words addressed to us. I am certain that you can rely on all of us during your presidency. Ladies and gentlemen, in any conference or big gathering, you always could find a person who is quite rude. And as uh, outgoing chairman of this organization, I'm taking this role voluntarily. That's why I'm insistently asking all membership countries contribute their dues to the community of democracies. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. Ladies and gentlemen, everything is not so bad. I just would like to make an announcement of those of you who will not be leaving tonight. On behalf of the Mayor of Vilnius, I would like to remind that all of you are invited tonight to a reception hosted by Mayor. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been our pleasure to host you here in Vilnius. I wish you all a safe journey back to your respective destinations. And I declare the sixth ministerial meeting of the community of democracies closed.